Kamara Futaba, uh, R6008HS, our 6008 uh, uh, receiver. Uh, we're going to have a set of, of pins on the side and the channel indications by number. So, again, channel 3 is, um, is the throttle channel in this configuration. So, uh, the way the pin works on the receiver for Futaba is that little tab indicates the signal side of the connector. So this back row is my negative. So I want to use the, in this case, the brown wire that's going from my, from my um, Phoenix 25 ESC. I want to use that low on pin number, or on connection number three. And now my ESC is connected to my radio. So we've got everything connected. Our ESC is connected to our brushless DC motor doesn't matter what the wiring configurations are here. This is our first time we're going to spin it up, so we'll test the direction. It's going to our Phoenix 25 ESC, uh, which is going to connect to our main flight battery. We also have this LXS21 low battery indicator uh, to give us some, some indication of what our voltage status is. So always turn on your transmitter first. And we have two red lights on our T8FG, which says that our, our radio channels are up and ready. And we're going to go ahead and connect our main flight battery. And I really don't like doing this, but I do want to show you. So I'll try to hold on to it and connect the battery at the same time if you can. I want to show you what it looks like when we reach that low battery indication. So and there we go. The one thing you will notice with Futaba that's a little different than Spectrum, uh, at least with the DX7 and the receiver I was using, is Futaba arms very, very fast. If you notice, there was no delay whatsoever. Um, as fast as I connected everything, it immediately found the cell, uh, indicated the uh, cells from the from the castle ESC, and as soon as it completed that sequence, it immediately armed the motor. So it's a very fast, very fast arm and disarm. In fact, you can see our green status LED on our receiver. When I turn our radio off, I'll try to just get this at an angle so it's not glaring so much. When we turn our radio off, which again, hold on to your motor tightly. This is never advisable. Always keep your your motor your uh, transmitter on. When we turn it off. We're going to go to a red state immediately, and you can hear the click of the button and the snap of the switch. As soon as we get the, the three tones from our transmitter saying that it's active, the LED status light goes green. So it's a very fast arm and disarm. Now, where this really comes in beneficial is if you're up in the air and you end up losing radio signal. But uh, that's a different clinic. I just wanted to show that in our arming procedures. It happens very quickly with the Taba radio system. So uh, we're up, we're going, we're connected. We should have power to our. Um, uh, to our brushless DC motor, and we're going to go ahead and try spinning it up very carefully. Again, I wouldn't go full throttle; just give it a little tiny blip and uh, get it spinning. Okay, now I feel no downdraft, so my prop is running in the wrong direction. It's blowing away from me, so I have the wrong configuration on my wires. Now, if I turn this off, lower the throttle, and then disconnect my main flight battery, turn off my transmitter, I can go ahead and reverse the direction of the outermost wires. I'm just going to change those. And this will reverse my brushless motor. All right. So we'll go ahead and turn our transmitter back on. Plug in our flight battery. All right, everything's armed. And we'll go ahead and bring the throttle up slightly. And we have the proper direction. And you can hear the difference in the prop itself. It's now blowing in the right direction. So it's that simple. To reverse our direction, we just change the outermost wires. This is a complete power plant. Everything we see here is complete. Um, now, one of the benefits that you will uh, you have by having a, a low battery voltage indicator is we'll go ahead and show that state now. When it arms or actually starts to rotate the motor, that back EMF surge comes through. It's a heavy draw immediately to the motor. And you'll see this uh, LX21 flash. Slight flash. You can see that. There we go. Now, when we put it under load, I'm going to go ahead and run it up, and you'll see that uh, battery indicator start glowing very bright. And be careful if you're trying this on your bench, these props are very dangerous. So, the light goes back off as soon as we back the throttle off because our draw allows our battery to maintain 11.1 volts. Um, but that's the indicator. It's very bright, it's very intense, and it can save you 
a lot of money in model damage and uh, even damage in your battery, especially if you're flying a helicopter. The, um, the cutoff isn't there, so you're, you can drain those lipos down below their minimum voltage very quickly. So, uh, But this is a basic power plant setup. Go ahead and disconnect this. Everything you need to get your electric model up and flying in the air, the only thing remaining is attaching some servos to your receiver, to your receiver and, uh, and controlling the, uh, the control services on your model. But this is all that's necessary. Basic and uh, consistent setup through all the manufacturer lines. The only variation you'll see is on the, on the radio side in the arming of the receivers. And like I said, in the case of Futaba, it seems you need to reverse that throttle channel if you're having problems arming because it's just set for the wrong way. Uh, normal is opposite uh, from the factory. So. Uh, if we haven't, if there's any questions, we have an answer with this tutorial. Feel free to go to the website. And you'll, in the lower left corner of, of any of the screens, you'll notice the Ask To icon. You can click on that and send us a question, and we'll get right back with you. We'll also post that in the facts section for everyone's benefit. Um, any, if it's if it's something that hasn't been covered to date, we'll go ahead and put a clinic together and uh, try to help everyone out that's encountering the same problem. Um, for manufacturers of all these products, from Hacker Motors to the Flight Power Evo batteries or um, Flight Power batteries, uh, Futaba, of course and uh, Electrotech RC, as well as Castle Creations, you can go to the Manufacturer Links section on our webpage and you'll find uh, connections to all of those manufacturers. Well, thanks for joining us and good luck with your project.